hi friends today we are going to start our new topic of substation operation and maintenance the substation generally what is substation a substation is a part of electrical generation transmission and the distribution system the substation may be defined as the assemble of operators which transfer the characteristics of electrical energy from one form to another a substation transforms voltage from high to low or low to high between the generating station and consumer electrical power may flow through several substations at different voltage levels classification of voltages generally the voltage classifies lv means low voltage hv low voltage that is below 1000 volts is called low voltage medium high voltage between 1000 volts to up to 33 kv we call it as medium voltage high voltage above 33 kv up to 132 kv we call it as high voltage extra high voltage 230 kv <coughs> 220 kv 400 kV up to 765 we call it as extra high voltage ultra high voltage greater than 765 kilo volt we call it as extra high voltage SLD that is single line diagram we will call as an SLD the representation of various power system components in a single line is defined as a single line diagram Here we can see the single line diagram of 132 by 33 kV. The first one is LA lighting arrester and this next one is one is line PT that is 132 kV line PT then isolator with edge switch then line CT1 line breaker bus isolator bus PT bus isolator HVCT for transformer that is CT2 HV side circuit breaker lighting arrester power transformer then LVCT of the transformer LV side circuit breaker bus coupler bus isolator then uh, bus PT uh, station transformer feeder CT CT4 feeder circuit breaker isolator with earth switch lighting arrester with lighting arrester and outgoing to feeder one this is the single line diagram of 132 by 33 kv substation we can go further in this single line diagram is generally layout of switchyard equipments the only one income one one incoming 132 kV line and single outgoing feeder are shown. The CT in the circuit is used for different purpose as mentioned below. CT1 132 kV line metering and distance directional over current and earth fault protection. Where CT2 that is transformer HCV metering and differential restriction earth fault and non directional over current earth fault purpose we can use for CT2. CT3 transformers LV side metering and differential REF and non directional over current and earth fault protection purpose we can use. Whereas CT4 that is 30, 33 kV feeder metering and non directional over current and earth fault protection purpose we can use what substation main equipment generally the main equipments of the substations are lighting arrester LA potential transformer PT current transformer CT earth switch ES isolator bus section power transformer capacitor bank battery banks 
protective relay, station transformer or auxiliary transformer. Substation main equipments and its functions. The substation main equipments already we can see, but we can see here is what are the functions of that equipments. Lighting arresters to discharge lighting and switching over voltages to earth. The next one is potential transformer to step down the voltage for measurement or protection. Current transformer to step down the current for measurement or protection purpose. Isolator disconnect of circuit under no load condition. Earth switch to discharge the voltage on deadline to earth. Circuit breaker automatic switch during normal and abnormal condition. Bus section for a connecting incoming or outgoing circuits. Capacitor bank to improve the power factor of the system, provide compensation to reactive power absorber absorbed by inductive loads, reducing the overload of the cables, transmission lines and transformers for the same load to be handled. Battery banks, the main to maintain the DC supply continually during AC supply failure for keeping the equipment in operation for normal and abnormal conditions. Protection relay. To sound an alarm or close the trip coil of the breaker so as to disconnect a component during normal condition, during abnormal condition that is overload, under voltage, unbalanced load and short circuits. We can use this protection relay. Station transformers. To supply of AC power for the charging of the batteries and provide a DC control supply for the station equipment, operation and illuminations and spring charge, spring charging motors of the breakers for cooling system of the transformer. Please subscribe the channel, like 